sent sent you a video the other night, and you said it's been on your um, on your algo lately. Mm-hmm. So this man is coming out of I think Whataburger, Whataburger, yeah. yeah. So it had to be like Florida, Texas, somewhere somewhere in in in, in my realm of um, expertise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coming out of Whataburger, and he's dressed. He has these um denim jeans on, got a slight little crease in it. Cool, it's whatever. It's your thing. Got a polo, got some New Balances that coordinate. And I, I don't know how. I don't know the hope the full context. Like if you try to approach these women, or if these women just called him out, looking at his fit. Well, from what I heard, <laughs> the background is he was in the Whataburger and overheard them. Taking their shots and mm. carried on all the way outside. When he got okay. outside, we see the culmination of everything where he's like, I ain't fresh. And that, they proceed to tell him how they he let is him have it. At that point, they let him Just have let it. Him start, yeah, start letting him have it, right? So, okay. So I, I, I didn't get, get that part. That makes it even more egregious, in my opinion. Like, my man, even not even looking for your attention or looking for your validation until he overhears. Now, okay, now, now I want clarification. I, want, I don't need validation, but I want some clarification. Man, dang, y'all jumping and on me. I ain't, I ain't fresh. What you mean? Like, you, you, you clowning me. What's up? Like, yeah, bro. And then also, to, um, to put it in a further context, is he's at Whataburger. It's not at the club. It's not at the mall. You know what I'm saying? He's not at, at, at a five-star restaurant. He said, what a burger. He's picking up some burgers and some drinks and some fries with some spicy ketchup for him and whoever. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And has to deal with criticism on his dress, especially for just showing up to Whataburger with some new balances, some nice jeans and a, and a nice polo shirt. You valid for me? That's valid. Yeah. Because, yeah. hey, hey, ain't no telling how I'm going to show up to Whataburger. Yeah. <laughs> Fit it on T-shirt Might have a little <laughs> On it <laughs> some, right. some, some sweats and, and, and some slides That's how I'm showing up to Whataburger So it's like okay My man stepped out Dressed his age Dressed his era And was clean in his era You know he was an older gentleman Probably had to be like 40 plus I, 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 would, I would age him at like 40 plus so we, I would say he would come from that cloth the early two thousands of especially yeah, that was can, that was super fresh for his range. Era. Yeah, that was yeah. super fresh for his era. Let alone yeah. fresh for going to Whataburger. That was super fresh for his era. You know what I'm saying? When we go to the club, remember we used to, hey put on my club shirt. <laughs> yeah, hey man, you know, <laughs> don't just say shirt. his era. Don't just say his era. For our, our era. Our era. How many times we don't went out looking like that minus the crease in the pants? You know what I'm saying? Which I don't wore a crease before. You know, I was so much many, younger. So you, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we was younger, yeah, yeah. we used to put the crease in the, in the joint when we were younger. But by the time we were in college, college age, a little bit after, that was uh, a, yeah. that was that was a uniform. Was we was going to we, we was going to put some work in in, in, in that yeah. uniform. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We was ready to go get busy. <laughs> so it's like, man. So what do you mean that's not fresh? And his, his confusion and his inflection. Uh, hold on, I, I, I ain't fresh. I ain't fresh. You mean to tell me I ain't fresh? So what? Is, what are we expecting? Especially for somebody when you see physically, physically see somebody who's in a certain age bracket, they're from a certain era, and they have the understanding of especially what's fresh for them may not be fresh for us a twenty year old, fifteen year old now. There's gonna be some shifts in in um. In, in, in era and how we approach fashion, but I can't look at somebody who comes from seventies, eighties cloth and see them get down on a freshness and be like, "I, right, my man, dressed fresh. That's his age. Yeah. That's his era. That's fresh for him. It might not be something I put on, but he got it on. That's him. That's fresh. Yeah. I'm gonna give a nod to that. Like my pops, my pops will put on something fresh, and it might not be something I'm aware. Right. But I'm gonna look at my pops like, "I, right, there. All right, you, 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 you got it on. I like put it together. I like yeah. that." Yeah, you put together. Well put together. Well put together. Yeah. It's like we lose our respect, man. We lose our respect for understanding what the errors are. And even though you ain't with that era, you might put on something different. 
you got to give a nod to that man. Like, especially you at Whataburger. You ain't out here trying to get attention. You're not seeking it or seeking validation. And then even when you pose the question, you're just seeking clarification. Yeah. Hey, man, it's, this is going to be a tough one for our age group because he was dressed like how we dressed once upon a time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, I say it's tough for us because our eyes are going to see that and say, he fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, yeah. doing his thing. We may not, we may have moved on from dressing like that, but he's still a neatly groomed person. He's well yeah. put together. You know what I'm saying? Like, clean. Yeah, he's clean, man. And to a kid's eyes, I guess, you know, they, they see that and you look like you dressed from 20 years ago. And and that's the only way they can see it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we get old crazy? eyes, man. And I wonder I wonder what the ages of these young ladies were. Because from the voices I heard, it didn't sound like they were 18, 19, 20. It might have been close to the 30-ish from just the way they so? sounded. From the way they sounded. You know, and I, I, I have no no verification, I, I, no clue of how, how old they are. But I would even like to say that some people, even who are closer to our era and our age, they have an unrealistic expectation of a man when he steps out, what he's supposed to look like. I think that that the era of how... Uh, fashion and these celebrities, I guess, the 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 the, the uptick on how they dress is like it's it's, it's 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 cute. Like if you ain't got J's on, or if you ain't got something with some red bottoms on the bottom of it, you ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Or if it ain't that, if it ain't Balenciaga, or if it ain't a particular name brand, it ain't it. You know, I, I feel like even in like that 25 to 30, maybe 25 and uh, and under. Up to about that thirty year old range, that they still have a, they have a, a, um, an unfair outlook on how a man is supposed to present himself. Like his fit got to be a thousand dollars every time out. Yeah, I don't know. When that I was not that was it, man. Back in the day, you don't think so? I think I don't know if that was it, man. I just think he looked like he was how we look at a a guy who still dressed. You know how like when the OGs go out and they have on their little suspenders and their little <laughs> plaid shirts with their little top hats yeah. and stuff and the little thin yeah. bow ties or thin thin <laughs> uh, ties and stuff, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. skinny ties. Mm-hmm. With the skinny ties, I think that's how they looked at him and that's what they I saw with somebody dressed like that. But because we used to dress like that, we don't see that. We don't see nothing wrong. Like, I don't see nothing wrong with what he got on. We didn't see nothing wrong with it, but they looked at it and saw like an old man dressed, man. That's just, I think that's what it was, man. Like, think about it. Like, you ever seen them little jokes online where people play songs and they say, what I hear? And then they show like <laughs> us jamming to some rap song. And then they say, yeah. what my kid hears? And it sound like, so, like, like a doo-wop yeah, yeah. song to them. Yeah. Like, that's, <laughs> I think that's what it was, bro. We just, we see it as still what we saw it as, and they just, it, they see it as, oh, man, like, when we were growing up in the 90s, stuff from the 60s and 70s seemed like a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And now these kids in 2024, something from the 90s seemed just as far away yeah. as the song in the 60s sound us. It is. And it, it is. is. And it is, bro. And years. that's the thing. When we were going with we come up in 92,000, that was 60s and 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Nin- and that brother could have wore that outfit 30 years ago. Yeah. So he could have wore that outfit anywhere from the year 1998 all the way up until probably about 2012 and been solid with it. You know what I'm saying? But like now we just reached a point (laughs) where it's just it's not that no more, man. And I think they see a old a old fashioned outfit when they see that. But we don't see it that way. It was clean to us. I I think that's what it was. I think we all reach a point where we (laughs) we stop. Chasing what's new and current, and what's we new? all get and stuck in to. our age. You know, and, 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 you and that's to. cool. You have to, because like there's nothing worse. I ain't saying nothing worse, but most people don't like it when they see somebody who's 50, 
and they dress like they're 25. It's like, come on, man, grow up. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. that same criticism that if you're 50 and you're dressing like you're 25, you got to grow up. But now we're seeing somebody who's dressing worse their age. Like that. Yeah, he dressed his age. He's dressing his age. He's dressing for the occasion. You know what I mean? Like not doing anything flashy. But now we're critici- criticizing it. And you know what? It kind of goes to the like what we talked about in the last episode. Like we criticize in the 90s. Like the criticism of old is so extreme now. Yeah. Where it wasn't before. Like we wasn't criticizing somebody who dressed like they were from the 80s, you know? Of course, we didn't want to, don't, 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 don't pop out with the, with the, uh, with the platform shoes on. You know, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. don't, 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 I mean, don't dress like this guy. got to rock their curl and we let them rock their curl. Like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They didn't let go of the, the texturizing. We let them have it. <laughs> like, let them have it. That's his era. That's where he from. He from that. Yeah. Let them do that. And it's like, hey, we, now they're criticizing so much of the past mm-hmm. instead of letting people just enjoy where they're at in life. And the progression mm-hmm. of it, and not understanding. I, I don't know if it's because we understood that. Hey, at, well, at some point, that's, that is going to be us. We are going to age out, and what we do is mm-hmm. not going to be it anymore. It's not going to be the cool thing anymore. Yeah. So we cool with it. Do your thing because one day that's going to be me. Now this generation, just like we talked about with basketball, and they're going to look at the the, the the superstars of today, and they're going to get down and clown how they trying to clown us, and they're going to be so mm-hmm. hurt. So hurt yeah. because they can't take the criticism now because they yeah. they they and not, they're not gonna be able to take with the addition because it's, so it's gonna come so they around gonna take at it some later. point. <laughs> yeah, they definitely gonna take it later. Yeah, I agree. I think that's that's what hurts me more is the the disrespect of the of the generations before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That brother didn't do nothing wrong. He was dressed how he was supposed to be dressed at his age. He'd have looked a lot worse trying to dress modern or like a a 18 year old and being his yeah. age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he he aged out when he aged out and that's fine. He he was dressed appropriately for his age and and he looked well put together. He had an effort putting his outfit and everything was, you know, he was respectable. But the the problem the bigger issue is the fact that we are attacking previous generations and like you said it's we it's never did time, that man. we always honored uh, the people before us like don't get me wrong look growing up you always gonna feel like oh my parents don't understand what the times are now you're gonna yeah, have that yeah, feeling yeah, yeah, at yeah. a point but i always wanted to hear what the ogs had to say myself you know what i'm saying i wanted to listen to them and if they were talking crazy i wanted to listen to them and laugh but if they were talking <laughs> some good stuff i wanted to listen to them and and even, they, even if they were talking crazy you didn't disrespect it I didn't disrespect. Yeah, I let him have it. Talk on. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk. Talk. Yeah, even listen to what we call our, our older generation. We call them OGs, man. They call us old heads now. Like you know what I'm saying? The disrespect is <laughs> OGs there. OGs to old like, heads. They don't. I just say old head. It's, it's dismissive. Yeah. It's dismissive, man. And like they don't. They. They. This generation, I think, wants their respect so much that they're fighting back for it in a way. But respect is earned. You got to earn it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get out there and put your work in. Because whether they realize it or not, you got the rock right now. You know what I'm saying? It's your generation. You got the ball. Like, our generation is, we ain't, we ain't changing and pushing the culture for it no more. It ain't on us. We just kind of doing what we do, and we enjoying the ride, and we still trying to succeed in our own ways. But if you want to take it to hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, your Kendricks, your Coles, your, your Drakes, that that's they not they eighties babies. You know what I'm saying? They don't yeah. move the culture no more. They just respect it, and and yeah. y'all got it now. So y'all got to do what y'all do with it and gain y'all respect. But y'all ain't got to bring us down to lift y'all self up along the way. Like just just do you right now. You ain't got to clown thing. nobody. And if you, you can gain you got, something you from what right the older now. generation is saying, gain it because the older generation they insulted us too. They ain't like mm-hmm. they ain't like our pants hanging off us. They ain't like the gangster rap music. They ain't like none of that stuff. You know what we I mean? Took like it. They, they we took it. About it. We took it and we did not fire back. Nah, we took it on the chin. You know what I'm saying? It, and if you could gain something from it, you gain something from it. If not, you just, you know, let them get it out. And then you move and then on and, a, keep and doing and, your and, thing. And then in a, in a lot of cases, we look back 10 years later, 10 years removed. And we're like, you know what? They right. Let me, let me pull my pants up a little bit. I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> they were right, bro. That's the crazy part. You think they don't know better because they older and you think the world's changed, but they knew better. The world did mm-hmm. change, but the game, the game might, the game might 
have different jerseys on, but it's the same it game. Change. You know yeah. what I'm saying? New players, it might, it the might, same game. It might, it the might technology shift, it might change. change, but we still doing the same stuff under in a new arena. You know what I'm saying? Same game, new arena. Fact. So Fact. they know what they're talking about, bro. And we know what we're talking about. But y'all they they ain't going to figure it out until two years us, later. <laughs> they don't want to hear us. <laughs> and then they're going to be left on an island. And it's like, hey, look, we try to, we try to, we, we try to be with the OGs were to us. Y'all didn't want it. You rejected it. Now you on your own. Mm-hmm. 